What's up, comic fam? Comic fans, it is time to preview the comic books coming out November 29th, okay? November 28th, DC will put out some books in the shops that choose to put them out on a Tuesday. So we're going to get into those books. We're going to get into spec books, spotlight books, FOC books, all right? And then the rest of the books coming out this week, right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, let's get into the spec books. You know how we do. Yes, you do know how we do. All right, so we're going to get into those spec books. We're going to start off first with Gang War Spider-Woman number one. All right, why is this on the list? Because we've got, it says, introducing a terrifying new force of evil in the Spider-Woman's world. So we may get a new villain coming out of that. All right, we all know that Jessica Drew is a bamf. So this should be a good book, all right? Threw it on the spec list. I didn't see too much this week that got me excited about spec but here are the best that i found this week titans beast world number one all right you've got tom taylor writing this book you've got a ton of characters in here including the titans all right and then you see supporting you got batman starfire superman wonder woman <laughs> but anyway if you've been waiting for a titans book that is like a major storyline right first major event for the titans here you go led by beast boy all right we're probably gonna get some new villains and probably some new heroes in this so that's why this is on the spec list and then last but not least we've got an x-men favorite we've got nightcrawler and this x-men blue origins number one is an origin story so we're getting an origin story of nightcrawler and also mystique is in there all right, so those are the spec books for this week. Let's move on to the spotlight books. We have something that's killing the children. All right, this is cover C. This is cover B. And if you have one in 50 money, you can just get both of these. The cover E, the connecting cover. And that is just super dope. I like that. All right. Moving on to the next spotlight book, we have Moon Knight number 29. Looks like he's trying to resist getting pulled on the ground. If you've been reading the Moon Knight series, then you know the last days of Moon Knight are upon us. And eventually we will get a new Moon Knight series and a new character. So this is a cool cover on the spotlight list. Last but not least for the spotlight books, here's Howard the Duck. This is a one shot, but look at this. Oh man, Thor and Hulk are fighting. It's his 50th anniversary. That's why Howard the Duck is getting this book. And he's got Mjolnir in his cake. Oh, oh. All right, let's move on to those final order due books. All right, these are due November 27th. DC books are due on a Sunday night. But let's get into the books. First off, we have avengers twilight number one all right alex ross cover i was just mesmerized there for a split second by this alex ross cover it's a pretty weathered captain america but he's still cap in a world that doesn't have the avengers anymore older captain america we'll have to see what's up with this book then last but not least for the FOC books, we have Ultimate Spider-Man. This is a whole new universe, right? They brought back the Ultimate Universe with Jonathan Hickman. I choose this cover because this is um, kind of like a spec. This is the Ryan Stegman variant, right? It's got the kids on there. So whether that, you know, those are the, the kids that have already existed, or this is a new set of kids who can lead and, you know, become new heroes or something. I don't know, but if any of these books any of the covers have cover potential this might be it with the whole family on there right all right let's move into the comics coming out this week folks we're gonna start off with boom here comes the boom ready or not all right alice never after up there and then you got berserker fallen empire this is kind of like a prequel right we're gonna follow b through you know some early stuff <laughs> you got garfield if you like garfield grims out there there's a really cool Orzu cover. Zoo Orzu. I just think this cover is fire. 
All right, we're gonna keep it, keep the ball rolling, right? Out of Berserker, here's a bunch of other books, uh, including Something Is Killing the Children, number 35. Okay, Jessica and and Cutter getting into it, and then you have Wild's End coming to an end with issue number six of six. We're at DC Comics, all right? Action Comics, Men of Steel. Superman is going to wear his world. Ah. War World. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Superman is going to wear his War World costume, right? His armor and have his weapons. Looks like he's going to need to in this issue for whatever reason. And a couple of <laughs> a couple of uh, covers for that issue. Alan Scott, the Green Lantern, continues on with issue number two of six. What else do we have coming out? Amazon, Amazon's Attack number two is out. Batman 89 Echoes. Some cool covers there. You got some more Batman with Batman Beyond. And then you have Batman the Brave and the Bold. A lot of Batman. City Boy, issue number six of six. So that'll be wrapping up. What else do we have? Detective Comics. So here's another Batman title. Pretty dope. Um, what else do we have? The Flash. I haven't heard much about The Flash, so if you uh, let me know if The Flash is any good. Green Arrow, number six of six, so Green Arrow will be wrapping up very soon as well. We got Harley Quinn, number 34. There's a Ginny Frizen cover. All right. You got this dope Justice League covers, right? One's King Kong. One is uh, Godzilla. And then you got the Justice League. Superman's kind of split here. Some Justice League to the right, some Justice League to the left. It does say a $14.99 price tag though, so it's cool. But uh, I'll be skipping that unless they uh, come out with a poster or something. Power Girl, some cool Power Girl covers. Let's see, Static. Superman, Son of Kal-El, Titans, Beast World, we, we mentioned that uh, briefly, but that's a spec book this week, right, with Beast Boy kind of leading the way, expecting some new characters to come out of that book. All right, we're off to Marvel. We have The Amazing Spider-Man, Gang War for Strike number one, all right, this looks like a, like a prelude or, you know, like the first issue is supposed to get it going. There's been a lot of mentions of the Gang War in Amazing Spider-Man. Let's get it going. Let's see if it actually starts here. All right, let's keep the ball rolling. Got some Cap. What else? Got some some Howard the Duck. A couple cool, you know, covers there. And like we said, it's his 50th birthday. That's why they're doing the Howard the Duck special. Here's another Gang War tie-in. Luke Cage, Gang War number one. Part of the Gang War. You know group if you will the street level heroes spider-man miles morales miles is good it's a good comic a good spider-man comic there's that cool moon knight cover we talked about that is cover b by the way cover a is here that's also a pretty cool cover all right let's keep the ball moving let's keep it rolling you got predator and wolverine there's two characters that could make a good cover those are two of the premier characters you can throw on a cover and hopefully it makes a nice one spider woman number one all right that was also a spec book we're gonna order that and we threw that on the list because there should be some new characters coming out of that storyline and then you got X-Men Origins number one. If you're a Nightcrawler fan, be sure to pick that up as it will have the origin of Nightcrawler and also talk about Mystique. All right, we're at Dynamite. And what do we got? We got some 007 Darkwing Duck books out. All right, Jennifer Blood. King Kong. Dynamite's really expanding their, the books that they're printing. I was going to say their universe, but... King Kong is probably not in the same universe as Vampirella. I could be wrong. Let me know. But you do have some Vampirella books coming out this week as well. All right. We've got the rest of the books coming out this week. Let's see what's in there. You have a second chance or a second printing cover of American Psycho. If you missed out on the first. A um, couple. The, the calling card 
variant has become very popular and I've heard good things about American psych, uh, Psycho. If you're an Assassin's Creed um, fan, you know of the video game, there's a comic for you. Barbaric is introducing a new talking weapon in that one, so Barbaric, wrong kind of righteous. If you haven't been reading it, basically there's an axe that gets like bloodlust, gets drunk off of people's blood. So that's cool. You have Basic Instinct, all right? So you had American Psycho number one come out recently. Now you have Basic Instinct by the same group, right? The massive Sumer uh, Sumerian group. And I think that's a dope cover. Who's that? Vanessa Del Rey did that cover. All right. I see you. And this, I, I think all three covers are just really cool. All right. Uh, Black Science. It's the 10th anniversary of Black Science. And here's some hard cover editions of it i just read the local comic shop day number one issue and i really liked it so i'm interested in you know seeing if i can catch up on the series i mean i'm not going to there's a lot of issues but you know maybe start reading it get some trades we'll see i read a lot of books so it'll be hard to kind of uh read a lot of it uh what else image has a new series coming out crave okay looks kind of uh risque if you will so check that out if you crave, you know, that kind of content. I really don't know what's in it though. But the covers do sell a certain type of book. Um, Drive Like Hell number two is coming out. That's Dark Horse. All right, what else we have? We have Eden Wood number two, that's Image. If I miss any books, you know, that I should have mentioned, let me know. Firepower by Image. Seems like I'm partial to Image, doesn't it? <laughs> Firepower has been really good, though. Um, a lot of people fell off because it did, you know, it was disappointing at some points. But then it, it got better. We have Ronin, book two, with the penultimate number five of six issue. Frank Miller's, you know, brainchild there. Coming out of Frank Miller Presents. Let's see. Let's keep the ball rolling. You have Giant Robot Hellboy, all right? So... Uh, when I see that title, I don't know anything about it, but I'm just assuming Hellboy is fighting some kaiju. Alright, that's probably pretty cool. Especially if you're a Hellboy fan. Alright, as we keep going, guys. Kaya, issue number 13 is out. And as Jay-Z would say, you can be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. Uh, local Comic Shop Day 2023, Conan Barbarian number 5 foil. So if you're a Conan fan or you just collect those LCSD books... There's one for you right there. $14 price tag, though. $13.99. Local Man is out. Issue number seven. That is a fun read, all right? If you liked Image in the 90s, this will bring you back to that time. And it is super cool. All right. Let's see what else we have coming out. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Blood Moon Comics has Mundus Tenebris. That's a three-issue, like, mini I think a lot of the books out of Blood Moon are, are three issues. Um, yeah, let's keep going. American Mythology has Night of the Living Dead. Opus Comics has Nadia Numbots. We have a Super Mario Brothers 3 homage cover right there with Ninja High 191. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep rolling. Let's see what else is out there. Like I say, if I miss anything, let me know in the comments. Be like, talk about this book. It is good. Uh, you got Rick and Morty, Me Seeks P.I., right? Me Seeks have a kind of a cult following. So if you're a Me Seeks fan, there you go. There's a comic for you. And we're going to keep going. I think we're almost towards the end, guys. Good to have some comics, especially during the holidays. You know, as publishers sometimes slow down, or you know, the creators slow down because you know people do have to have a life as well and enjoy the holidays and have some time for friends and family. This little pig out of Scout Comics. This seems like an interesting book. It looks like there's a group of people who kind of put these pig masks on their face, and then there's a group of people who are werewolves and they hunt <laughs> these people with the pig masks. Um, and then it looks like there's somebody who has a crush, a werewolf who has a crush on somebody who wears a pig mask. So it looks like that could be an interesting book. We got some TMNT for you TMNT fans. 
Uh, let's see, we're getting there, we're getting towards the end, and it looks like we are at the end. All right, comic fam, comic fans, do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready for this week's books. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below. All right. Peace. What's up, comic fam? Comic fans! And it's time for the previews of the coming. <sighs> Alright, what's up, comic fam? Comic fans! And welcome to the preview show.